So my heart rate's elevated, but that's to be expected um, after working out, especially having CF. So as you guys know, Kelsey is trying to get healthier with her keto diet. Y'all wanna see what I made this morning? <laughs> they look like cookies. They're actually cheese, egg, and sausage. Yeah. Right? But they're supposed to be like little balls, but they turned into cookies. Hmm. But they're really good. They taste good. Mm -hmm. So you guys probably don't know because it was like way back before we got married. I used to work out a lot. Kelsey used to work out a lot. We used to eat healthy. And then we got married and that all went- It all went downhill. Downhill pretty quickly. Literally, it's like the last day I worked out is like the day I got married. And then <laughs> after that, I haven't worked out since. And we've been married a year. Yeah. So Kelsey is trying to kick off the health trend with her keto diet. Hey! <laughs> this is not keto! What are you doing? I just need a sip! I need You're to, addicted! I need to wean myself off! You're a drug addict! You're addicted to <laughs> caffeine! Or uh, sugar! Uh, yes, I do. So, as you guys know, I love root beer. Or do they know that? Well, if you don't, I love root beer. That's what I drink. A lot of the time, the reason why I have my shirt off is because I'm about to do before pictures, so that is why I have my shirt off. But anyways, I drink a lot of soda, and Kelsey watched a video about the keto diet saying sugar and carbohydrates allows infection or cancer cells to... Produce. It feeds cancer cells and infection. And I know sugar feeds infections, and if you guys know, with CF, we always have infections, so I'm going to try to cut out sugar. What? I didn't know this. Yes, I'm telling you now. Oh. I'm going to try to cut out sugar, <coughs> and I think I think that's all I'm going to try to do for now. <coughs> but as you know, with CF, it's like really hard to maintain and gain weight. So cutting out a lot of the things that are high in calorie... Um, will be difficult because it's the things that help me keep weight on and I know that um, Eating healthy you can still maintain and keep weight, but it's just a lot harder um, I've tried the paleo diet and I lost a lot of weight and that's not what I want to do So for now I am going to try to cut sugar off and I am going to do the 200 push-ups a day for 30 day challenge and I'm going to do 10 push-ups a day. 10 push-ups a day. Hey, that's a lot for these noodle arms. <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys on a daily basis, like, my push-ups and all that. Um, after 30 days, I'm just going to do a video. Hopefully seeing some awesome transformation from day 1 to day 30. Um, I have done this. Not, I'm, I haven't done this technical, like, challenge i kind of just started doing push-ups i didn't know it was a challenge but i started doing 100 to 200 push-ups and uh 50 to 100 pull-ups a day and i got like it seemed like the best shape of my life just in 30 days so hopefully um i don't have somewhere to do pull-ups in the rv yet so yeah i'm gonna start that today do 100 push-ups now and then 100 push-ups before i go to bed um, I'll probably do sets of 20. If you guys watch the vlog, I've had weird heart problems. And it might be because of all the sugar that I drink. My heart problems have caused me to stop working out because after like 30 minutes of working out, I literally feel like I'm going to pass out. Um, I checked my blood sugar and my blood pressure and everything checks out it, and the doctor can't figure out what's going on. I have yet to see a cardiologist, but I need to. But yeah, uh, after I work out, I get really, really fatigued and feel like I'm gonna pass out. And I really, nobody could tell me what it was and it kind of stopped me from working out. So hopefully 
me taking it easy and just doing 50 push or 100 push-ups um, won't allow me to get to that level and hopefully cutting sugar out will help with that also. Ah, I'm so out of shape. Probably makes a difference that we're 5,500 feet above sea level here. The last time I worked out was in Sarasota, Florida, which is like at sea level. So there's probably a difference working out here than in Sarasota. Got it, come on. Six. Eight. Hey guys, so we just came back from a walk and you know that fatigue that I talked about? The, the fatigue that essentially made me stop working out. It's fatigue where I just don't want to do anything and it feels like I'm like on the verge of passing out. So I'm feeling that again and I'm about to check my blood pressure to see if that checks out. So my heart rate's elevated, but that's to be expected um, after working out, especially having CF. So I'm not sure why I feel like this, honestly. Another thing I want to do is check my pulsometer. And right now it says my heart rate 142 beats per minute, which seems really high. Yeah, so now it's down to 120. So about what the blood pressure monitor said, and my O2 is at 90. So I don't know what it is. Ever since coming to Colorado, my uh, O2 has been uh, like 93-ish. Usually it's uh, usually it's like 95 to 96, but it seems like in Colorado it's been lower. Uh, which is to be expected, I think. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what it could be. We are back. And I made us a keto meal. And Taylor likes it. You really think it's one of the best ones? Yep. Yeah. He thinks it's one of the best meals I've ever made. Yeah. Which I've, up there? I've made a lot of crappy ones, so... <laughs> But it's Tuscan chicken with no pasta, with sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, and then I made some broccoli with a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Are you going to be able to do your push-ups later? <laughs> a little, gonna you're going to try? Yep. Okay. I might start out at 100 push-ups a day. Cause I think you should because you were exhausted after. Yeah. That. Like all day today, I was like really, really tired like fatigue yeah all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and call it a night if you did like today's vlog give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow where's little rusty boy there he is my daddy are you over here oh, there she is hello pumpkin